Originally, I'm from uh, Georgia, Tbilisi. I was born when the, my country was occupied by the communists. Uh, and that was a time when I was an art student. And uh, the war literature was going on in our kind of footsteps. We could just walk into the war zone. <laughs> and uh, that was a time when the changes that was happening in that was kind of an uh, eye-opener, mind-opener for me, and especially for the artists, for the future artists, that's, that was the, the time to live, I think. It was the one, only one thing I could do and I could enjoy. But it was a little bit later in my 30s that I discovered that the art is not only the trade, to just to produce some kind of pieces. You have to live with the art. I always had a feeling that my home was somewhere else. Then I was just living. And this constant moving somewhere, not for a better place, just for a different place. It's a kind of a constant process which going on in in your head in your everyday life and you 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 can't really escape this feeling uh, it's to change your own life and maybe to affect someone's life in, in a better way to say your own story which somehow can be interesting for someone else you have to go under some process of pain into the life to become a better person, more enlightened, uh, I don't know. But certainly you have to have something to say, something to say about you. And that's, that's what makes you to create the art. It's not easy, it's not pleasure. At least for me, I don't really find it is a pleasure. It's very hard work for me. What makes me to create a art? I, I think it's to say a stories, to make a recording of my own narrative with the symbols, images, my own visual language, and to archive it, store it in a big, in general human utopia. I think it's the art is this tool to dig deep in someone's soul to reveal and to have an answer on very painful questions. Questions which makes you cry, change you as a person and maybe affect someone else's life. <laughs>